Um, hello there, so you're welcome to this first information literacy skills uh, tutorial. So in this session, I'm going to introduce you to the library search engine called Summon. And I'm going to teach you how to do two things. The first is how to run a basic search on Summon and then how to filter that search results so that you're only going to get a narrow set of results back from your search. Um, so to get started, we're on the library's main homepage. You'll see this main search box on the homepage. It defaults automatically to search all. So you can just run a search in there. Um, for now, I'm just going to click on the search box and that's going to bring me through to the main Summon uh, homepage. Now, basically what Summon is, is it's the library's version of Google. That means it's searching absolutely everything that we have access to. Um, so you'll see there's huge numbers up here in terms of the number of resources that are available. But it's searching for every resource type. So it's searching for newspapers, journals, books, ebooks, pretty much every kind of information resource type that there is. It's also searching every subject, every geographic location, which is why we have some Chinese language on the screen at the moment. So it's a huge database of material. And what happens, of course, is when you run basic searches on this, you get a huge number of results. So the first thing I'm going to do is just run um, a keyword search. And I'm just searching for a second language acquisition and I'm going to hit on enter. And what you're seeing is that that's returning 400,000 plus results. And that's obviously a, a, a huge number of results to try to manage or navigate through. Um, it's way too many for anybody to be able to handle. So there's a number of things we can do to actually just narrow down our search. Even though this search is still a very broad subject area, we can still use a few tools that someone offers us in order to narrow this down and get it down to just a few results. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my search term in quotation marks so when i search for second language acquisition on its own without those quotations what the search engine is understanding is number one it's going to search for the phrase second language acquisition but then once it finds every, all of the search results that have that as a phrase it's going to break that phrase into individual words and then it's going to search for the different combinations of words um, in that phrase and that's why we're ending up with over 400,000 results. So if I wrap it in quotation marks, I'm now telling the search engine to only return me results that have second language acquisition as a phrase in the, in the results pane. So I'll click on search here. And we see immediately that we get a much smaller number of results. The 31,000 still way too many but it's a lot less than 400,000 okay now I want to use the filters on the side of the page here and see how 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 narrow I can go with this and I'm not really looking at the content of these results I'm getting I'm just playing a numbers game to show you the kind of tools that you can use to narrow down your searches so the first thing I can do is narrow by journal article um, which is typically the kind of content that, that most students will be looking for um, doesn't narrow it down that much more, takes a few thousand out of the results. I can now narrow by publication date and it's a good idea to get it up um, to more recent years. So I'm going to go 2018. Um, that brings me down to 3000 and then I can narrow it down by subject. Now with any of these search results, if I click on the more option, it will give me a lot, all, the different, all the different subjects that are available on that one. But for now, I'm just going to filter by languages and literature. And it's bringing me down to 2,000 results. Okay, but 2,000 is still a little bit too, too many results, but it's a lot more manageable than what we started out with. And I'm still doing a very broad search here. A second language acquisition is a big subject area. So just by using a few filters, I can narrow my search result down quite significantly. Now, I can actually narrow this down even more if I go into the advanced search uh, window. So I'm going to click on advanced search. And I have my search term in here. It's still wrapped up in the quotation marks. 
and we'll see that what that's actually searching is all fields so if i click on this drop down menu all fields means it's searching all of these different um, parts of the articles so it's searching the title searching subject abstract but it's also searching the full text and obviously if you're searching the full text that's going to give you a much larger number of results so the narrowest i can go with this is i can filter by title and if i filter by title then i'm telling the search engine only give me results that have the phrase second language acquisition in the title of the article so i'm going to click on search and we'll see immediately it brings us down to 1900 i haven't added in my filters so you have to add your filters in each time that you search so if i now start filtering by journal if i filter by the year just 2018 that's only leaving me with 103 results and i haven't filtered by the subject areas yet so language and literature will give me 65. okay if i think that's too few i can obviously go back into my advanced search and i can broaden out my filter to maybe you know the subject terms or maybe the abstract okay and if i rerun the search it goes from 65 back up to 3000 because i'm now searching within the abstract of the article so that's a very basic introducing introduction to someone um, just how to run a basic keyword search and then how to use the different filtering tools within Summon in order to narrow your search results down to a much smaller and more manageable set of results. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to look at the advanced search. I'm going to teach you how to use the advanced search more effectively to get even more accurate results.